everybody, Spencer here with SpencerPullen.com. I wanted to tackle one of the biggest questions I get in my live seminar and classes. And it's basically how do you take a really big photo and make it so it will go through the internet? Because a lot of folks, you know, they're trying to email images to their friends and family and it's just not going through the pipe. You know, your ISP like Comcast or CenturyLink, whoever it might be, basically is telling you it's too big, it's not gonna go. So let's look at this. So if I go and open up a file, now I'm going to work with a raw file on purpose because these are, these are usually pretty big. But you could do this with a JPEG, no problem. So here's a challenging photo. We'll talk about camera raw later, but we'll go ahead and um, you know just do some quick changes on this try to make this guy look a little bit better and uh, if you haven't been using camera raw, i'll tell you it's it's really worth it it's just amazing what it can do to help save your images so you can see we can bring this guy kind of back to life compared to what he was it's pretty cool stuff anyway so you guys get the point we'll talk more about this later so anyway there's a before there's after very very quickly so i'm going to click on open image so it passes a file from Camera Raw to Elements. And I'm using the Expert Mode. By the way, I am using Elements 13, but you could use Elements 11, 12. You could use Photoshop CS, like CS5, CS6, or CC. It all works the same. So in this case, by the way, if you never saw this little number down here, it says DOC, and it has a number. This is how big your file is. In this case, this is 35 megabytes. Uh, if you're not sure about the whole bits and bytes things, that's pretty big. Usually 10 meg is the limit that your email will allow you to send. So this is basically three and a half times more than what we can send. So what we want to do is we want to pare this down to make it emailable, but still look like we haven't really compressed it. So under here under image, and elements, we've got resize, image size. Now, if you're working in Photoshop, you can go under image, image size directly. So that's one small change, but the box is actually the same. So a lot of people, they look at this and they go, oh no, 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 I'm just gonna click cancel. This looks like way too much work for me, but it's actually not too bad. The thing you wanna check first is right down here where we've got these boxes, right? Constrained styles, constrained proportions, resample image. The simple answer is just have all of these turned on. That's the safest way. Also, you're gonna notice that here is your document size and that the little chain, this little link is only got the width and height. We do not want it to look like this. Or if I uncheck this one, now you can see how all three of these are linked together because if I change one of these, the other two are gonna change to try it. And normally that'd be a good thing, but in this case, we don't want that. So I'm just going to make sure all three of these are checked and I've only got the two, the width and the height. Now screens, I'm assuming that your, your output is gonna be for email, websites, blogs, um, screen, slideshows that kind of thing they only know 72 dpi 300 dpi and 72 dpi is going to look exactly the same on the screen for to boil this down to make it really simple so 72 is the number you're looking for and you'll notice up here we went from uh, 35 down to 2 meg so we've made a drastic reduction so so far so good now the other thing is, now this would be good. We could we could go with this, or if you're trying to go with um, something a little bit more smaller, is personally for all my blogging use, I found 800 pixels is good. So again, you can kind of play with this to find what's gonna work for your specific situation, but that's what I use is 800 on the longest dimension. So you saw when I started with this photo, it was actually a portrait mode. I'm sorry, no, landscape mode. So the, lo the longest dimension is going to be the width and the height that changed accordingly because we did have the key proportions turned on down here. Constrained proportions is turned on. So 
when we do make the change to one, it changed the other, which is a good thing. So now we're down to 1.22 megabytes. So we went from 35 down to say one, make the math easy. That's a huge reduction. So if I come up here and I click OK, and you go, wow, that's great. It's the size of a postage stamp. But if we look, we're only viewing this at, say, 40%, very, very small. So if you ever want to see what it's going to look like on screen, you can do view actual pixels. And that's going to make it bigger. And for some reason on the retina display, it is a little bit smaller than it normally is. If you, again, go on my website, spencerpullen.com, look at any of those. This is all exactly how they were processed. Now you'll notice that the name of this is still has this NEF, which is Nikon Electronic File Format for you Canon users out there. That would be the CR2 extension. So it's not a JPEG. This is real simple. You're just gonna file I always do save as because save as has the allows you to open up an additional window so I'll go ahead and choose save as so here I can go ahead and give it a name now if you're working on PC that's basically the same thing except the save as box is down here so you know don't let the Mac thing fool you so in this case you know it's called poor me pizza box um, here it's going to ask you where do you want it to save in this case I've got it set up for desktop JPEG is a good thing in this case. That's pretty much what the whole internet and everything works on, so JPEG is good. If you like the organizer, you want this turned on. Uh, if you're a fan of the organizer, I personally don't use it, but hey, you know, teach their own, so if you want to use it, turn that on. And you can leave this embed color profile. We'll talk more about that in a, another video. But go ahead and click Save. Now this is basically where the magic happens. You have a choice here. The choice goes from zero, small file, in this case 46 kilobytes, so we're less than a megabyte, which is very, very small. But I don't know if you can see or not if it's coming through. This is very jaggedy, it doesn't look very good. So you think, oh, well, I'll just crank this up to a large file. That makes sense. Now we're at 407K, which is not terrible by any means. And of course, this is going to look great. But actually, the industry standard, and this is why I teach in all my classes, if you want it to look, if you want a small file and you want it to not look compressed, the secret number, drum roll, eight. So this is what I use in all my pictures. It's 127K, um, very small. It's going to look good. Baseline standard is what you want. We don't use any of this other stuff anymore. So, by the way, the preview, you can always check this on and off if you want to double check what's, what's going on over here. So, if you can move this box over. So, if I were to turn this on and off. Now, again, I know this is hard to see. If I were to zoom in a little bit. Try to get them both in the same image here. There we go. And then if I turn it on and off, I don't see a whole lot of change which is a good thing. And I was looking at the type in the box and everything. In fact, I don't really see any change. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now what I'm going to have, let me go ahead and hide this, is I'm going to have my raw file, which is right here. By the way, when these little XMP files show up, don't throw them away. That is camera raw's work that you saved or it's saved for you. So if you throw those away, you're actually saving, you're actually throwing away the work that you've done in camera raw. It's not a good idea. But here is the one that you're going to want to email, uh, put on your website, whatever. And it's a very, very small file, of course, on Mac or on PC. On PC, you can right-click and do properties. On Mac, I can. Uh, we also have a right-click. I can also do go get info, which is basically the properties on the Mac. And here you can see it's 117K. So it's very, very small. You could send 20 of these and your ISP is not going to say boo to you. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. They look great. So I'd say give that a try and see what you think. Thanks for watching.